Three, two, one. Welcome to Hoops R Us, the best podcast ever. Hey guys, it's your host Xander, and it's been way too long. And we are back with the first episode of the year. We have a lot to catch up on. Today, we're going to hit on two superstars back on their teams, one in the West and one in the East. And boy, did we miss them. We also got a lot of 10-day contracts offered to veterans, some that are really fun to see on the court again. And last but not least, we got an early NBA All-Star voting. So stay tuned for an awesome episode of Hoops R Us. So Dad, welcome back. Happy New Year to everybody. I can't wait to talk about the topic today. So let's get right into it. Oh boy, go for it. So we got two superstars back, one in the West and one in the East. In the West, we got Clay Thompson, baby. Game six, Clay. Yes, sir. Game six, Clay. Um, in his first game back, he had a solid seventeen points. Scored the first basket of the game, and the Warriors won. Clay, I mean, first of all, I've never seen somebody so hyped up to return back from an injury. Well, how many? It's been how many years? It's been two years, but I I have never seen that much hype over a player coming back from injury. I mean, Derrick Rose came off an MVP season, and he didn't get this much hype when he came back. We're talking about... Well, with Derrick Rose, it was like 2012 he got injured the next year after his MVP. So everybody's like over that already. Listen, all I'm saying is like your boy, Mr. Triple Singles, Draymond Green, is (laughs) injured. He literally started the game just to be part of the starting lineup for the historic return of Clay Thompson just to sub out in the first possession. He just wanted to be part of the starting lineup. I mean, dude, is it that Dream serious? Dream right? Yeah. Of course. Mr. Triple Singles. Of course. Dream on doesn't. He, mm. <laughs> No explanation there, huh? No explanation. Dream on is dream. I mean, I get it. He just wants to respect the guy, you Stop know. Stop it. He's Stop been it. playing with for like seven what seasons? Whatever. That listen. Either way, I mean, Clay Thompson. This had all hypeness written all over it, and he delivered. He looked good. He was dunking. He was hitting threes. He looked like the old Clay. Yeah. Um. He dunked on like what? Two, he would dunk on like two players. That was a crazy dunk. Um. Yesterday they also played. Clay only scored like what fourteen points. I want to say. So he's a little rusty, I w- but well, he's on a minute. Uh, he's yeah. on a minute limit as he's well. On a minute limit as well. So I'm not gonna go too crazy about that. It's but hard it, to score 17 points in 20 minutes. But is it everything you 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 wish for in Christmas? Or you I would your say, boy to come I would back? say, yeah. Because now it feels now now it feels like you know the NBA is you know like back or something. Like everybody's out has came back from their injuries, whatsoever. No one's out for like a whole season who. You know, well, only like Kawhi, really. But like Kawhi doesn't make the M, like, you know, yeah, Kawhi's he's a, he's a Mr. Fun Guy. Mr. Fun Guy. But, I mean, although actually Kawhi is probably the only superstar that'll make a difference if he was healthy on his team right now. Why? Well, I'm saying in well, terms of oh. like people that are injured, like he's probably the only one, but Murray's back to your point. Murray's back. Jamal Murray's not back yet? I don't think so, no. Oh my God. Well, there's two guys, but Kawhi's better than him. Yeah, exactly. Um, and with Clay, it was like without Clay, lately we've been winning a lot. Yeah, so now and with now Clay, he comes, now it's over. Really, it's over. That should be fun. That should we, be fun. We weren't trying before. I mean, listen, you you were hyped. I mean, so Sander was oh, watching yeah, the, yeah, that yeah. first game when Clay came back. I had to watch it from tip off first. Yeah, like it, everybody was hyped. The stadium was packed. Oh yeah, it was. I mean, Clay definitely brought the brought the giggles out there. He had everybody excited. The and Splash Brothers are back. Oh yeah, I'm, I wonder what that's gonna do to a Jordan Poole, Wiggins, Gary Payton, Wiggins. I, I think Gary Payton though, he's still doing his he's still doing his job. Like his job is really like play defense on like if a guy's like killing Curry as the guard. Yeah, I would say <laughs> happens a bit. All right, all right, whatever, but. <laughs> 
play defense on the guy that's like killing Curry and dunk. <laughs> dunk. Just call alley oops and bang that. Yeah. I mean, I think you, you hit it on the head. I, I think Wiggins is who I need to be watching out for. Yeah. I think Wiggins has stepped up as the number two while Clay was out. Now he's going to go back into that number three spot with Clay being back. And I don't know because Wiggins is a very quiet, you know, he he's supposed to get you your 20 easily. Mm-hmm. 18. But he can easily turn into a guy that gives you six or eight points. And that's not what the Warriors need. They need him to be, you know, the legit number one pick. Give me at least 20 points. I think with Wiggins, one, he's been a number three guy, if you really think about it. And the Timberwolves, like when, you know, like when Russell came there, D'Angelo Russell. Or no, he was already gone. He got traded. But, like, I know. He was was the two, supposedly. He was a two, actually, right? I don't know. Everybody's still waiting for his potential to pop, and I think this is it. This is as good as it's going to get. And if he delivers 20 points a game or around high teens, that's all you could ask for. But he just needs to do that consistently. He's an upgrade to Matt Barnes. Remember Barnes? Matt Barnes or Harrison Barnes? Harrison Barnes, my bad. Yeah, I remember him. Yet. So he's better than Harrison Barnes. He, they play similar as well. And you still got, you still got Mr. Triple Singles that'll step up and do his thing. Triple Singer. Oh my, triple Singles. <laughs> so, anyway, so in the East now. Uh-oh. Apparently he hasn't been. He's been gone because he's the just candy man. He's not acting smart right now. Curry's but, worst nightmare. It's not Curry's worst nightmare. <laughs> it's Curry's dream. Anyways, Curry's so, dream. Yeah, Curry could cook Kyrie now. Oh what? So in in whatever year that was, he couldn't cook him. Yeah, in 2016, that was just one shot that Kyrie <laughs> hit though. Kyrie. Kyrie is Irving is back, guys. So. He's, yeah, he's he, back with a bunch of rules, though. So he's back where. Well, actually, I got recent news that the Nets, like, if the Nets want Kyrie to play on home games, like, they're saying that we're willing to pay the fines. So there are, fi- I mean, these fines are a joke, though. So they're like super cheap for like. I mean, this is an NBA. <laughs> it's team. like Monopoly over here or something. Yeah, and I wonder if a if the Nets are going to be the ones paying it, or if Kyrie's going to be the one paying it. It should be him. And B, to your point... He- well, no, it shouldn't be him because lately he's all right with just playing away games. Now it's the Nets who's bringing up the idea of even wanting him at home games. So technically it should be the Nets. Well, they need him. <laughs> That's a fact. They need him and they know that he puts them over the top. And listen, the Nets came back on their word. I mean, what do you think about that? Because the Nets set the rules, oh, if he's not vaccinated, he's not going to play at all. Not even part-time. That was before, though. Now <laughs> Kyrie just changed the rule. Well, Kyrie didn't change it. The Nets changed the rule. Um, because Kyrie, I mean, he. Oh, would you think if Kyrie was on like a Knicks team, that will happen? I think if he was on the Knicks, he would have been playing unvaccinated since day one. <laughs> For real, like the Knicks would have found a way. But still, you know what? The Nets went back on their word. I think they assumed that they were going to be good, but then they had all these COVID cases and all this stuff going on, and they needed Kyrie Irving back. So they made a, a business decision, let's face it. Yeah, and that's the trio of Black. Harden, KD, and Kyrie. That's oh, the, scary. The league is in trouble again. That's sc- The league's in trouble in both conferences. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my gosh. You're telling me that the Warriors scare the Nets when they have those three no, monsters? No. Well, one, they can scare the Nets, but that's not what I said. I said... Both conferences have like like a big team that they have to worry about now. West e- Warriors. E- well, listen, without Kyrie, Brooklyn was still the team that everybody and was scared of. Without Clay Thompson, the Warriors listen, were still doing good. I'm oh still my thinking God. the Warriors don't scare nobody. But Dad, think about it. One, I think the Western Conference is way harder. And I if thought you were going to say a little weak. No, no. Why? Because you got a team like the Warriors as the number one team. Exactly, like, they're good. Oh the my West? gosh! Well, look, if but let's put it this way: if the Nets were in the West, they would be like four for fifth place. Yeah, but you're just looking at the record. I'm with. Listen, nobody's gonna take away the fact that the Warriors are off to a great, great start. I just don't know that they scare anybody. I think they're gonna win a bunch of games in the regular season, 
I got to see think what just Clay gonna, looks what like. What do you think they're going to do then? I don't know. How are they not scary then? I got to see what Clay looks like. If Clay looks like the old Clay, now they're scary. But I don't get it. How are I, they I just, not I scary? I feel like it's fluky. I feel like they're catching the Lakers in disarray. I think they, they, oh, beat, they beat Oh, they beat your I team. I think they beat the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, when, they did. They, like, they're still, they beat the Bulls. All these veteran teams are like, ah, they don't care about the regular season. Oh, my the gosh. Warriors it's not the veteran hot. teams. The Nets are not no veteran yes, team. What do you mean? What are they, rookies? No, but they're that's like. That's a veteran team. That's, that's a championship that's, team, Sander. A championship team is not always a veteran team. Look at the Hornets. They're in a playoff and picture. And you're calling them a championship team, the Hornets? Right. Point proven. So, But still, the, the oh. Nets are a veteran team. The Suns are a veteran team when you think about it. Like, are the Jazz a veteran team? Yeah. Do you know what veteran means? Veterans like old players, though. So. No, it's not. Veteran could mean a seasoned player that they're not in a rebuilding stage, Sander. They're like a championship ready. What's a rebuilding stage? What do you mean by that? Rebuilding is technically the Hornets. You said one of them. Well, they made the playoffs, though, so that's it not... It doesn't re- mean that they're not rebuilding. Maybe they might keep it that way, though. Just develop those players. Right. Well, whatever. I mean, listen, my opinion is I don't think the Warriors are scaring anybody in the playoffs. Why? I, think the, I, I still think don't still, get that. I still today, don't get that. Today is what? January 12th. 12th, yeah. Today, January 12th, if the Lakers make the playoffs... They can be the eighth seed. They can even be in the oh, little playoff oh, tournament. Hold oh, on, hold on. Oh, let me finish. Oh, let me finish. Oh, okay, okay. If the Lakers even get into the little playoff tournament, I think they scare everybody in the Western no. Conference, with maybe the exception of the Suns, because the Suns have already beat them. But if the Lakers come in there with AD, Westbrook, and LeBron, and LeBron's playing out of his mind right now, the Lakers are the scariest team in the West if they make the playoffs. Okay, so yeah, LeBron's playing out of his mind. Is Davis and Westbrook? Davis isn't even playing. Exactly. But even when he was, people thought he needed to step up. What is Westbrook doing? Because now he's averaging 10 10 overs, tur- I mean 10 turnovers per game. So that's a quadruple double right there. <laughs> um, I don't know, but I, I, I guess I, that's good I, to you. I, that, I, I, guess, I think it's not even about I don't Westbrook. even get it, though. How is that scary? Listen, it's not even about Westbrook. I think any team that has LeBron in it and Anthony Davis, if they're healthy, I don't care but what they were Westbrook healthy does. like that Sun series. They were not, Sander. What and are like you talking about? In like the last game, exactly. they finally which got is, Which is when it was LeBron by himself. But if they would have been LeBron and AD, I think they would have beat the Suns. <sighs> no, AD is not good anymore. I mean, he's good, sorry. He's good, but AD's just not like, that's it. He's He's not his prime anymore. He AD's may, not maybe not, but I mean LeBron's like, but, not in his prime, and I was, still think LeBron scares everybody. LeBron is LeBron, Dad. He can carry a team, yada yada yada. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if he can carry a team by himself anymore. That's over. Yeah, exactly. That's one. Two, like LeBron. LeBron's a freak of nature. That's just that that's just true. because he has so much skill that he can control his game. Like it's crazy. So yeah, that's just the only reason. Like they're we, not scary. The we Lakers will agree are not to scary. disagree. But in the in the East, obviously the Nets are, are the scary team. Oh, uh, they're not the scariest. Okay. The Bulls are. Uh, nobody's uh, scared uh, of the Bulls. Uh, Bulls similar story as the Warriors. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so just because they're just out of surprises, yes. Now they're just not scary teams. Even yes. though, even though I think they the have a better record the than yes. the scary teams. Yes, I think the scary teams are those that you know when they go to the playoffs, they hit a different gear because they have these veterans that when they get to the playoffs, they play on a different level. But I think with the, the Warriors, season, they just they have wow. so many young guys. They're developing. For, a key word, for, developing. But, but for the playoffs so that they're ready to go to their next gear or to go crazy in the playoffs. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. In the Suns, they're not doing that anymore. In the oh, Suns, who, they're ready no. to go. Nah. Who are they, quote unquote, developing to get better? I think they develop more Devin Booker because. Uh, I mean, Booker's already a stud. Mm. He's already a stud. And who are who are the Bucks developing? Um, uh, I don't know. Exactly. Uh, re- I never said the Bucks go. are never a veteran team. No, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, but the but wait, 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 but the Bucks are both then, if you think about it, because Giannis is still going crazy trying I'm to t- get like uh, an MVP. For, for, I think the term veteran is, is throwing you off. Championship ready. Let's put it that way. Teams that are championship ready are the Bucks, the Suns, the Nets. The Nets, no. The Jazz. Oh my. The Jet. Ja- no. 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 If you're going to say the Warriors are not scary, don't say the Jazz are. All right, fine. 
But no, I think they're. I think them. they have all the tools. Well, wait, wait, pause. So the Jazz are not like you know developing per se anymore. I don't know. Uh, let's move past the whole developing the, piece. The, the Jazz don't ever mention them like scary. I mean, they they don't scare anybody, but I think they're championship ready. No, and I think they're. they're I think no. they're very similar to the Warriors to to an extent. They just have two guys. Anyways, next we gotta talk about ten day contracts. Oh boy. A famous guitar player came back on a 10-day, and he was shooting. Lance Stevenson. So, against Mr. the Mr. Nets. Blow in your ear. First, <laughs> first of all, against the Nets, which was also Kyrie's return, this was Lance Stevenson's like, first home game, right? He scores 20, like, two in the first quarter only. It's insane. But he only ended with, like, 29. Or like yeah, 30. but listen, it but is what it, it is. It is his job. Like, he had already done his job, per se. That's awesome. I'm happy for these veterans that are getting these 10-day contracts because they're coming in and they're providing a quick punch for a lot of these teams. I think with the, these veterans, like, that's all they're, that's all the, all they're going to look for is just the championship and retire, like, next year or two years. Oh, next year. They, they won't get They're lucky if they make it past this year because, again, they're much older. There's a reason why they're out of the league. But they can get on a playoff run right now, and they can help a team. I or, think or Lance Stevenson is not in that category though, because like you know, he's been playing in the G League. If he's not, if he's not, if you don't see Lance in NBA, he's in G League. Like he's never yeah. like overseas per se, really. Yeah, like, he's I, always I, around the news. Isaiah Thomas came back too. Isaiah Thomas is also you know like around like. Well, Joe Johnson, he was playing in the Big Three last time we saw him play. Big three, uh, the Ice Cube League. So uh, listen, he came back and he played. He's in the in the Celtics. Yeah, um, Joe Johnson. Uh, haven't heard of him ever since though. I think he's cut already. Nah, listen, at the end of the day, but they came yeah, back, that was they that was cool contract. too. You know, Dirk Nowitzki almost came back on a ten day. Oh yeah, Jason could ask him like, Dirk, we're giving out ten days. You want to come back? And he was like, Nah, he's too old already. Yeah. It's enough. But those 10 days, I'm curious. I think Jamal Crawford should be out there in some team. Oh, he's. I think he's going to definitely, like, you know, try out for a team. I know Jamal, like, um, Jamal, like, you know, Jamal always comes back to some team after, like, two years. Remember the Nets? How he was in the bubble with them? And it's been, like, two years since we've seen them, since we've seen him. Like, you know. I think he's still an animal. I mean, we'll see. We'll no. See. Well, wait, wait, wait. Before we say, let's see. What do you mean by an animal with Jamal? He just it, all they need him to do is come off the bench and hit an open three. That's and, and it. In today's like, league, yeah, you, that's all you needed him to do even ten years ago. Isn't that what you need to do for every like shooter per se? Yeah, but he's a shooter. That's what I'm saying. I think he was a one on one guy, like yeah, crossover. Yeah, I won't be surprised if he still could do that. Mm, I know about Jamal. Jamal. Uh, Who would you like to see on a ten day contract? <laughs> that's hard, actually. I don't know, really. Like, there's no recent, like, players. Uh, shoot. Maybe Tim. No, nah, not Tim. Tim's already a coach. Yeah, Tim is super old, dude. I think with, like, um, 10-day contracts, I want, like, legends to come back. But, you know, that's, like. I'm I'm seeing it the other way around. I'm I'm looking at street ball guys or these Instagram yeah, street guys, ball guys or whoever, yeah. you know. Well, the Instagram guys, we, they could give rookie 10 days, right? They could give anybody a 10-day contract right? off the okay, street. Okay, yeah. I think the NBA should be on the lookout, especially on the G League, and see who's out there. You know what I mean? But that's, that's pretty cool that they're getting a second shot. Yeah, yeah. All right, so NBA All-Star voting. So me and my dad, we did a little early NBA All-Star vote, right? Did it through the NBA app. So let's talk about, let's sit on that, right? Um, You remember your team? I do, I do. I mean, I probably have a couple of guys that are the same as yours. So uh, let's let's go through the Eastern Conference. Go for it. Um. All right, so let's see if I memorize this. At the guards, I have... DeMar DeRozan and Trey Young, I want to say. I have DeMar DeRozan and, and I know LaMelo, LaMelo Ball. Why? He's a beast, man. Why? I like LaMelo. Why? Because I'm a fan, and this is fan voting, and I could vote for whoever I want, and I think LaMelo is just a fun all-star type of player. Like I would like to see him in the all-star game. I think he'd be fun to watch. That's true. I like, I like LaMelo as well. 
I think um, Trey Young is. I mean, he's at, he's having a great season, but eh. Trey Young's pretty fun though. He's still like one of those young kids, you know. Yeah, I guess, but I like them a little more. <laughs> okay, yeah. So um, who are your forwards? Forwards, I think we both have the same. KD, Giannis, Embiid. I got. I didn't have Embiid. Who you had? And stuff. I had KD. I had Giannis. Who did I put as my next forward? I thought you memorized this. What happened? You know what? I got to see it again. I, I, I didn't pick Embiid. I don't think I did. I don't think they save it, see, though. Let me see the options. Where in the NBA? Yeah, that's interesting. Because, um, again, Embiid just doesn't wow me. You know what I mean? I don't know. No, like, MVP, I mean, Embiid was like, you know, because he has to carry the 76ers team, I think Embiid is like... He can go into MVP conversation. Not, I don't know about this year, but I like Embiid, though. Embiid can, is really, you know, he's really productive for his team. He can score. I know who I rebound. picked. Who you picked? I picked Miles Bridges. No, you didn't. 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 All right. no way. Maybe I did pick Embiid. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so that that's a good team. That's a good team. So, all right, oh, wait, so let me see. there's somewhat in agreement with, with our starting five over in the East, except that I got LaMelo and you have Trey Young. LaMelo. You, you sure you didn't pick Tatum? No, I don't like Tatum. Middleton, Sabonis, Randall? No, I w- if anything, I would have picked, um, I'm telling you, Miles Bridges, but <laughs> I probably ended up with I think you picked Embiid. Embiid as well. All right, all right, let's go yeah. to the West. The West now. So, who are your guards first? How will you go first for a guard? My guards were Stephen Curry. Thank you. The guy's killing it. Not going to yeah, deny yeah, it. Yeah, My second guard, though, he's not the leading vote getter, but Stun. put some respect on this man's name. My second guard is Ja Morant. Let's you really go. Got the, you really got the kids all-star vote right there. I got the more like, you know, it makes more sense all-star votes. Yeah, but you know what? This was before John Morant went off because we you had me do this all-star voting like a week or two ago. And John Morant just started going off. They just won 10 in a row with the Memphis Grizzlies. That's true. That's true. I, I respect that. Well, who'd you have? Um, I definitely had Curry. And my second one was Luka Magic. I, I can't, we can't be mad at that. Luka's a beast. Luka, I think Jaw. Jaw is good, but Luca, I think Jaw can be better than Luca at scoring, but he's not yet. And I think Luca's I, better listen, than him at points. Luca and, and overall versus. is better. Ja is just funner. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. That's ja true. can bang it. Ja can cross. I mean, Ja is just funner, and he is lifting his team. How's Luca's team looking in terms of just seeding? Mm, I think the Mavericks are doing all right. Better than the Memphis Grizzlies? No, Memphis is fourth seed. Telling you, man, Ja. I should have picked Ant. I should have picked Anthony Edwards. Is fun, t- is fun too. Yeah, but not, I mean, I don't think he deserves no All Star yet. How really? do you ha- who do you have as your forwards? Forwards, I got the King, LeBron James, Jokic, and this is interesting. I got Paul George. Paul but George. But actually, I want to change it right here, right now, because what you gonna do? Paul George is injured. Paul George is injured right now. All right, so I'll tell you mine while you, while you think about that. I went with LeBron, Jokic, and Carl Anthony Towns. Ooh. He's having a great season, and I haven't seen him in an All-Star in a long time. So, Has he been an All-Star? I don't know, actually. I don't remember. But I think he deserves it this year. He's playing great over there in Minnesota. Everybody talks about um, Anthony Edwards, but, you know, Cat is still the best player on that team. It's unfortunate that they are they even in the in the top eight teams. Uh, I gotta check actually, but I'm pretty sure they are because they got D'Angelo Russell, um, Cat and Ant man, Ant. So yeah, like let me check. They're in the ninth seed. Oh, they're in that bubble. They're in that tournament bubble. Yeah, they're in the little playing tournament. I well, guess. So who are your fours? Who are you gonna pick as your third? My third, because Paul George is injured, I'm going with Rudy Gobert. Ooh, Mr. Yeah. COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. So, I mean, I'm pretty Rudy sure we're going to do this again, especially once these guys actually go through the all-star selection. So, um, that was cool. That was fun. But I still like LaMelo. I still like Ja. 
Let's go, people. Start voting for Ja Moran. That guy's the man. Yeah, okay, okay. Right. I don't like Ja, though, because he always beats the Warriors. So that wraps it up. We had a blast just catching up in the new year. I'm so excited. My man Clay is back, baby. Yeah, let's go. And I'm a little glad that Kyrie's able to play again. Dude, I'm hyped. Kyrie, Uncle yeah. Drew, like, watching Kyrie play is awesome. I feel like Clay's more exciting, though, because he's going to play in more games. With Kyrie, you got to wait for the Nets to play in another away game. For now, he might, he might come back and play every game. <laughs> Listen, money talks, and this is business, and the Nets know they need to have these guys ready to go for the playoffs. So I won't be surprised if you see Kyrie playing every game. And I won't be surprised if you even see him in the All-Star game. That's how good the guy is. Whoa, no. He only played like two games already. Uh, whatever. Yeah, but I'm excited. Uncle Drew is back. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's wrap hold it up. Now. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What's up? So, me and you had a shooting competition. Oh, my Gotta God. Gotta talk about that. So oh, boy. We went to the gym, you know, working out. And we got to a shooting competition, right? You want to tell the fans who won that? <laughs> All right. So, you know what? I'm a man. I'll, I'll, I'll man up. So, we had a, a shooting competition. First, it was mid-range jump shots. It was uh, basically like a like an around the world, but just all mid-range. Ten shots from each spot. And, yeah, the, you got me on that one. You got me. Yes, sir. Um, first we did mid range and then we did three pointers and I beat you in both of them. I thought I had you on the three, but damn. <laughs> he got me in three in as the well. corners, in the corners hey, where you, you know what? You've been practicing, man. You've been practicing, but it's not yeah. over. Because you no. know what? We didn't put no money on the line. Oh, if I were to put your money in the then line, I, then I might I might take off the sweater and you know stretch out a little and just just okay you. okay we might think of that then. Okay. You're gonna put up your next week's allowance, so oh, you know what? Okay. I demand a rematch. All right. Sure. I did beat you on the free throw competition though. That was because I was tired, but I know you gotta be good at free throws when you're tired. Yeah, exa- that's exactly when you need to be best at free throws. But yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah. I I'll take that. So you accept my challenge for a rematch? Sure. When we next go to the gym, how about the next time we go to the gym? All right. So next time we work out, we'll, we'll do a we'll repeat the competition. And uh, we might be singing to a different tune over here. I know you're over here smiling nice and wide. Oh, okay, I think, okay. I think people could listen to your teeth just, just chattering <laughs> and just, you know, all happy. I got you. Okay, okay. But let's put some money on the line and let's see what happens. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for listening to Hoops for Us today. Peace. Later. Later.